Hello everyone, welcome to Learn with Maktum. So in the last video we have done a program that is to find the area and perimeter of the square. So moving on to the second type of program. So let us see the question. Write a C sharp program to find number of digits and alphabets in a given string. So I have given a dummy input here enter a string in the console it will be printed for that the user will enter say a string maktum 1 2 3 okay in this so if the user enters maktum 1 2 3 there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 characters are there so it should print number of characters equals to 6 and they also say number of digits so digits how many 1 2 3 3 digits are there so that should be printed number of digits 3 how to do it ok so what are the steps first we should read the string ok yes I will declare two variables ok or three variables we can use ok uh, not only digits and alphabets, we will also do special symbols, ok? Special symbols also we will print. Hmm? This is an extra bonus like, ok? So, to print the number of alphabets, I am going to use one variable. To print number of alphabets, one variable. To print number of digits, one variable. And to print number of special symbols, I am going to use one more variables, ok? So, declare three variables read the string okay then we are going to compare okay how to do that we will see so open the visual studio okay one more thing i wanted to tell you uh, yesterday we did a project that is area calculations project if you want to do the one more program in the same project you can do that okay uh, say um, before that program we did a demo program no that is first application I'm going to open that project inside that project I'm going to write this program okay okay so this is the first application project okay so here already one cs file is there that is named as program.cs this is a file which is created by visual studio by default okay so i want to add one more cs file in the same project how can we do that so click on the project and right click Here you can see this add option, add new item, and here you can choose the type of item which you want to add. So you want to add a class file, okay. So you can see that class has been added. Okay. So now if you want to rename it, you can rename by default. The name will be class one. If you want to rename it, you can rename it by clicking on the class file name and right click rename. Rename means we can give it as um, checking.css okay here click yes so that here the class name will change yes okay so inside this file there will be no method you have to write that method okay to execute this program you have to 
write the main method compulsorily and the problem with this is in the same project you will having you are having two files and both are having what main method so the compiler will get confused that which program should i run so for that there is something in the project folder okay so in the project folder when you click on it this thing you can see okay so in this file you can add something called as startup object okay the startup object whatever you are going to mention the file name that file will be run first okay here i want to run my checking.cs style first okay so here first the project name first application dot the program name checking dot cs yes save it this you can do or else right click on your folder name go to properties here there is something called a startup object okay here also you can set look here it's already now set to first application dot checking dot cs okay here already all are there checking dot cs checking um i think dot cs is not needed you can simply mention it as checking save it okay you can see now okay now go back to your program so here as i told first i'm going to declare three variables say to represent the number of alphabets i'm going to use alphabet variable alphabets to represent the number of special symbols and digits we will have digits and sp symbols variables okay now next we have to read a string yes so string str and we need while loop so inside that we need a variable that is i i'll set int i equals to zero clear with that okay now we are going to print something on the screen of console that is console dot right line enter a string yes okay next that read should be stored in some variable that is str equals to console dot read line okay next after that we are going to start counting the characters okay till what we are going to count the characters till the whole string gets over yes so for that we will be writing a condition while this i the string index also starts from zero till what till the length of the string so while i is less than str dot length okay till this you are going to calculate the number of characters present in that string yes okay now start comparing if if str that is string of i is greater than or equals to character a and str of i less than or equals to character z this is the condition to check whether the string contains the capital letters or not hmm. with that we have to write for small letters also so you can say or str of i 
is greater than or equals to small a and str of i is less than or equals to small letter z okay so this is the condition to check whether the string is having alphabets if this condition is true we are going to increment the alphabets value yes now here we are incrementing the alphabets value means we have to initialize them first yes so we will initialize them alphabets equals to digits equals to special symbol equals to zero okay we have initialized them mm, i will uh, align the code correctly yeah next you have to check for digits if str of 5 is greater than or equals to 0 and str of 5 is less than or equals to 9 if this so you have to increment the digits variable yeah clear with that okay lastly here we can use if else if you can write else if or if is also okay if both the conditions are false means it is special symbol for that we are going to write else part else we are going to increment the special symbols yes and uh, at the last we have to increment i also because i is initialized to 0 but at every time it should be incremented yes clear with that ok now come out of the while loop yes now we are going to print it console dot write line number of alphabets equals to index you have to specify as 0 then come out of the double quote put comma what is you are going to print at 0 you are going to print alphabets variable ok yes the same line I am going to copy paste yes i am going to simply change the caption here number of digits you are going to print the value of digits variable yeah then uh, special symbol We're going to print value of sp symbols clear with that this is the code so we'll uh, check from the beginning here what we are doing firstly we have initialized three variables and a string variable and for looping we have initialized i variable and uh, we have we are initializing all the three variables to zero and uh, we are printing that enter a string statement and we are going to read the input from the user then we are checking here whether it contains alphabets or digits or special symbols and we are printing at the last yes
okay now go for run Here it is asking you to enter a string. Say matum one two three dollar enter. Yes, here you can see the output number of alphabets equals to six. Is it so? Check M A K T U M six alphabets. Yes. Number of digits are one two three. Yes. It is printed. Then there is only one special symbol. Is it so? Is it easy? So this is a program to count the number of characters that may be alphabets or digits or symbols in a string. I hope I'm clear with the program. Okay, so this is all about this video. I hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, click on subscribe and to get the notification, click on bell icon. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.